I mean, I, I think I can work out the answer to the first question because I know that ortho is Latin for teeth, graph is Latin for picture. So I'm guessing we're talking about teeth pictures. So, but for anyone who's not sure, what is an orthography? Yeah, love. That. Well, we're, we're, obviously, we're not needed here with your expertise. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, orthos, uh, Greek for correct, graphia, um, again, uh, Greek root um, suggesting writing or drawing. And so orthography meaning correct writing or drawing, which raises the question, how do we define in something that is based on social conventions, like all aspects of language are, what is correct? And I've already answered the question, it's down to social conventions. So when we're talking about an orthography, we're talking about the uh, socially agreed upon conventions of um, a writing system. So in other words, English orthography, which is what I imagine we'll be talking most about today, is the correct way, as it were, to write in English. It would be a real uh, diversion if uh, Kieran at this point said, no, we we're going to talk about like Latin orthography. <laughs> yeah, we are, we're going to start talking about Abu Gidas. We're going to talk about <laughs> syllabic orthographies. Yeah, nothing to really add. Um, as I say, my notes for this one are literally ortho means correct, graph, graphy is writing. So it's just the, the correct form instead of like representing writing or representing speech, uh, you know, capturing that in writing. Um, I, th I like the word form because it links quite nicely to a bit of morphology as well that comes later on where you look at what morphology actually means. You know, morph is about this you know, der derivative of form. So I quite like having the word form there when I'm explaining what orthography is because it kind of makes that nice little connection there between morphology as well. But as I say, apart from that, nailed it. When we're talking about the conventions of a writing system, mostly what we end up talking about is spelling, but there are obviously other things relate that are part of an orthography. So things that we might take for granted. So in English, for example, we take for granted that we write words from left to right not the case in other uh, orthographies, that we leave gaps between words, that we go down the page, that kind of stuff is all part of the agreed upon conventions. But because the most complicated and often most interesting part of these conventions are about how individual words are spelled, the word orthography often ends up becoming a synonym, not just for the conventions of a writing system, but very specifically the conventions of a spelling system. And so you'll have to forgive us through this um, podcast today if at points we seem to be using both because that's that does tend to be how the word orthography is used. But if in doubt, we're probably mostly talking about um, this idea of it being um, uh, relating to a spelling, the way that words are spelled rather than the bits of orthography that we take for granted.